And how about these creepy crawlers? Yeah. All right, a lot of gators here, but we also have a lot of bugs, too. Yeah, and we may start seeing even bigger bugs. A massive spider is spreading through the southeast. Fox 35's Marlisa Goldsmith is live here in the studio again tonight. So, Marlisa, this is not a spider you want to find in your house, either. <laughs> oh, no, you do not. The Joral spider is venomous and considered extremely invasive. Its web has been spotted in Georgia, and according to a new study, it could be spreading. So there she is. So this is actually a fairly small one. Her body is maybe three quarters of an inch long. I uh, got that those bright yellow and silver stripes. These not so small spiders native to East Asia started showing up in the south about a decade ago. Most likely just hitched o hitchhiked over on one of those big shipping containers that you see at the ports all the time. Now they believe these Joros are going to inhabit most of the eastern U.S. And right now they're mostly in North Georgia, uh, the upstate or mountainous region of South Carolina, and then little pockets in uh, around Charlotte, North Carolina, Chattanooga. So. That's where they are, mostly are, but there's some sort of satellite populations popping up here and there. And they appear to be able to expand their range without the help of humans. They can live through the summer into the fall, laying eggs and then dying. Then each of those babies sends out threads of silk, which catch the wind and allow the spiders to parachute off to new homes some number of miles away. By parachuting, a lot of spiders do this. And this is something they do when they are just extremely tiny little things right after they hatch uh, out of the Egg. Landing among us to creep and crawl and spin five foot wide webs. What we don't know right now is how these spiders will interact with other spiders or native plants or how far they'll ultimately travel. All right, all right, there's no need to worry because apparently these spiders are the shyest ever documented. Researchers say they rarely bite humans or pets and their fangs cannot penetrate the skin. Live in the studio, Marlisa Goldsmith, Fox 35 News. I